After a slow start to my morning, I sit down to work at around 7.30. Um, but today it was closer to 8 just because I was filming. Whilst I'm eating my breakfast, I review my to-do list for the day, I look over my planner, I just get my head around everything that I'm going to try and do today and um, I do that for about 15 minutes whilst I'm eating my breakfast and then I get started on dissertation work. So I've said this before but I try to do dissertation work as soon as I wake up, get that done for a couple of hours. I do work pretty much solidly from 7.45 till 12. I will leave my desk a few times to say good morning to my parents, to go outside and get some fresh air and to get snacks. I probably have like two snacks in the morning but for the most part I will be working quite intensely in this period because I am most productive in the mornings and honestly I always end up losing track of time because I get so engrossed in the material and I do really enjoy working on essays like this. Then this day right before lunch I was also working on formatting my picture book which I'm submitting for my children's writing module. Then I will take a lunch break from 12 until 12.30, go and get something to eat. Um, I didn't film this and also you see me changing to a different day because my grandparents had come around that afternoon and so we spent the afternoon in the garden and the day did not did not end up being reflective of what my usual routine is like so I filmed the afternoon of the next day just to demonstrate the rest of my routine. So then from 12 30 until 1 45 i will go upstairs and i will do more studying any overflow tasks that i had from earlier and then at 1 45 i like to take a break this is because i don't work very well in the afternoons at around two o'clock i start finding it hard to concentrate and so it just doesn't make sense for me to sit down and continue working and continue getting myself to work when i'm not going to be working productively and i'd much rather have set long periods where I can do whatever I like to do that isn't studying. So today I wanted to do some baking, I just made some blueberry muffins. So as I said, I baked those muffins and then after that I went outside and I read for a bit. What's happening? What is it? You're so clever. You're so clever. My family was cutting Lola's fur, in particular my sister was doing this, we decided to do this at home because the dogs prefer being at home and they're more comfortable if we're the ones doing it. Another thing I will usually do in this afternoon break is go on a walk, so of course that's what I did today, I love going on daily walks and sometimes I'll do this in the morning if I'm not really concentrating as well in the morning but I've been saving them for the afternoon. Oh and on the way back I saw this rabbit, there are loads of wild rabbits in our garden at the moment, there's actually this particular family of wild rabbits that keep coming into the vegetable garden which my mum keeps on saying is like Peter Rabbit which I just think is the cutest thing. Then when I got back, I got some afternoon tea ready. I like to have afternoon tea every day, um, well, most days. So today I'm using this hot cross bun tea, which was sent to me from Bird and Blend. This is one of their Easter brews. Then I just plated up some of the blueberry muffins I've made. These did come out a little bit burnt, which was quite sad, but they still tasted really good. So I took that outside and mum and I chatted over that. It's a unique one. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Yeah. Okay, what do you think it is? It's a festive one, a seasonal. Mm, cinnamon. Delicious. 
And then I went back up to my room to do more work. Usually I would get back to work at around 4, 4.30, but today I started working at 5.45. I'm not super strict with myself. If I want to have a longer break in the afternoon, then I can. So anyway, back in my room, I did some writing. I've got a creative writing portfolio to submit as part of my submission. That's worth 80% of my grade. And this is me ticking off my tasks very satisfyingly from my master to-do list and also my study planner. I also made this broad to-do list of, of the main tasks and submissions I've got coming up so I could put it on my wall. And since I'd completely finished that creative writing portfolio, I was able to tick it off, which was very satisfying. Another bit of studying I did was something for my dissertation. I just went on Genie and went over some notes that I'd made on a reading I'd done a while back. And then in the evening, I will go downstairs and get some tea, of course, and usually a snack. Today I was trying this nighttime latte from Paka, which I've been meaning to try for ages. It was so good. And sometimes in the evening, my parents, sister and I will watch a film or a TV show, but this particular evening we didn't. And instead I went upstairs to do some editing. In the evenings, right before bed, I'm not super productive. And so this is when I will do any admin tasks as well, like replying to emails. I was editing for about an hour. And And then I just disconnected my hard drive and I like to sanitize and disinfect my laptop and my phone every evening so I quickly did that. And then I went to the bathroom. I'm not actually doing any evening skincare at the moment, but of course I did brush my teeth and again, I was reading at the same time. Back in my room, I just like to tidy up quickly. I don't really like waking up to a messy room. Um, and then I got into bed. If I haven't watched something with my family, then I do like to watch something in bed. So I'm currently watching Heartstopper. And so I just watched the next episode here. Honestly, it's so good. And I would highly recommend it if you haven't watched it already. And then the final thing, of course, that I do is read. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you have a productive week.